The history of mammals is a fascinating story played out over 300 million years and takes us from tiny shrew-like creatures scurrying under the feet of dinosaurs to the diverse, widespread and often very cute creatures we see today. From their origins among the synapsids in the late Carboniferous period through the rise of therapsids and the eventual emergence of true mammals in the Mesozoic era, mammals have evolved a remarkable array of forms and functions. Their evolution begins long before the age of dinosaurs in a time when Earth's ecosystems were vastly different from today. In this video, I'll delve into the exploration of the major stages in the evolution of mammals, highlighting key evolutionary innovations and the diverse ecological niches that they have come to occupy, the mammals that we have come to occupy. This is a tale of survival, adaptation and some really weird evolutionary quirks. Yeah, let's roll back the clock a few hundred million years and see where it all began. By now, most of us are aware of the single cell bacteria that evolved into multicellular bacteria. So let's begin our story with the Carboniferous period. The origin of synapsids. The Carboniferous period, which lasted from about uh, 359 to 299 million years ago, was a time of significant evolutionary advancements. During this period, the first amniotes appeared. Vertebrates that could lay eggs on land, a crucial adaptation for life away from aquatic environments. Among these early amniotes were the synapsids, distinguished by a single temporal fenestra, an opening in the skull behind each eye. The earliest synapsids, known as Pelicosaurus, emerged around 320 million years ago in the late Carboniferous. Pelicosaurus were primarily reptilian in appearance and behavior. Notable genre include uh, Demetrodon and uh, Edaphasaurus, which are often recognized for their distinctive sail-like structures along their backs. These sails, supported by elongated vertebral spines, may have been used for thermoregulation or display purposes. Pelicosaurus exhibited several primitive characteristics but also laid the groundwork for future synapsid evolution. Their jaws and teeth began to show differentiation a feature that would become more pronounced in later synapsids, helping them fill various ecological niches as both predators and herbivores. Then we come to the Permian period, which began from uh, about 299 uh, and uh, ended at around 252 million years ago. It was a crucial era for synapsid evolution. During this time, Earth's climate became drier and more seasonal, driving significant ecological changes. Pelicosaurus began to decline and a more advanced group of snapsids, the therapsids, rose to prominence. Therapsids, which were the next step towards mammals, they were more mammal-like than their Pelicosaurus predecessors, exhibiting several key adaptations that foreshadowed the characteristics of later mammals. These adaptations included uh, differentiated teeth, incisors, canines, molars, a more erect limb posture and, 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 and a complex jaw uh, musculature. Therapsids are divided into several subgroups including uh, Dinocephalia, Anemodontia and Theridontia. Dinocephalians were some of the earliest therapsids to appear. They were large, robust animals with thickened skulls, possibly used for headbutting or combat. Examples include Tyrannosphalus, Moschops, uh, despite their initial success, Dinospalians went uh, extinct by the Middle Permian likely due to changing environmental conditions and competition with their therapsid groups. Uh, then we had uh, Nomodonts, particularly the Dysonodonts, who were highly successful and diverse herbivorous therapsids. Dysonodonts had a bleak-like structure with most other teeth reduced or absent, indicating a specialized herbivorous diet. Listerosaurus, a well-known Dicenodont was extremely widespread by the end of the Permian and one of the few therapsid groups to survive the Permian Triassic extinction event. Uh, then there were Theriodonts. They were a more diverse and advanced group of therapsids, including Cognopsia, Rosphalia, and Cynodontia. Cognopsians were apex predators of the late Permian with large sable like teeth and powerful jaws. Gognops, uh, one of the best known genre, exemplified these fearsome hunters. Therosophilians were smaller, more agile thera therapsids that exhibited further mammal like traits, such as a secondary palate, which allowed them to eat and breathe simultaneously. This adaptation was crucial for uh, 
sustaining high metabolic rates and likely contributed to the evolution of endothermy, warm bloodedness in later mammals. Cynodonts were the most mammal like of all therapsids and are considered direct ancestors of modern mammals. They appeared in the late Permian and uh, exhibited numerous advanced features such as differentiated teeth, a more complex jaw structure and evidence of fur. The evolution of the secondary palate in Sandrons was, was more uh, pronounced, facilitating efficient respiration while chewing. Several critical evolutionary innovations that set the stage for the emergence of mammals. Uh, first up was differentiated teeth, one of the hallmark features of therapsids was the development of differentiated teeth including incisors, canines and molars. This allowed for more efficient processing of food and a more varied diet. Differentiated teeth enabled specialized feeding strategies crucial for adapting to diverse ecological niches. The evolution of a secondary palate after that was a significant adaptation that allowed therapsids to breathe and chew simultaneously. This was crucial for maintaining higher metabolic rates and endothermy. The secondary palate also helped separate the respiratory and digestive tracts, reducing the risk of choking and allowing for far more efficient feeding. They had erect limb posture. Therapsids developed a more erect limb posture which improved their locomotion and energy efficiency. This adaptation was a precursor to the fully upright stance seen in mammals later on. The erect posture allowed for better support of the body weight and facilitated faster and more agile movement essential for both predators and prey. Uh, then advanced jaw musculature. Therapsids exhibited more complex jaw musculature which allowed for stronger and more precise bites. This was accompanied by changes in the jaw joint and development of the dentary bone which would eventually become the single lower jaw bone in mammals. Uh, the advanced jaw musculature enabled therapsids to exploit a wider range of food resources from tough plant material to flesh. Then for an endothermy, evidence suggests that some late therapsids, particularly cynodonts, had fur and were likely endothermic. These adaptations would have been advantages for thermoregulation and surviving in diverse environments. Fur provided insulation allowing these animals to maintain a stable body temperature while endothermy enabled them to remain active in cooler climates and during periods of low ambient temperature. And then with the turning point, the Permian-Triassic extinction. The end of the Permian period was marked by the most catastrophic extinction event in Earth's history. By far, the Permian-Triassic extinction event around 252 million years ago. This event wiped out approximately 90% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate species. The causes of this mass extinction are still debated but likely include massive volcanic eruptions in the uh, Siberian traps, climate change, ocean energy and possibly ast asteroid impacts among other reasons. Despite the severity of this extinction, some therapsid groups managed to survive and would go on to diversify in the Triassic period. Among the survivors were the Dicynodonts and the Cynodonts, which would continue to evolve and eventually give rise to the first true mammals. So Triassic period was the dawn of mammals. Lasting from about 252 to 201 million years ago was a time of recovery and diversification following the Permian-Triassic extinction. During this period, the first true mammals emerged from their cynodont ancestors. These early mammals were small, likely nocturnal and adapted to a variety of ecological niches. Examples of these early mammals include Morganicodon, Megazostrodon, Cynoconodon. These mammals exhibited several key characteristics that distinguished them from their synapsid ancestors which are as follows. Three middle ear bones. The Malus, Incas and Stapes, derived from the reduction and migration of jaw bones, allowed for more sensitive hearing. Tiphyodonti, the replacement of teeth only once during their lifetime which is a characteristic of modern mammals, including us humans. Complex teeth, early mammals had more complex teeth, including molars with multiple cusps for grinding food. Endothermy. Now, these early mammals were likely endothermic, maintaining a stable internal body temperature. 
And then we come on to mammaliforms. During the Triassic, uh, a group known as mammaliforms emerged, representing an intermediate stage between true mammals and their cynodont ancestors. These animals had advanced mammalian characteristics but still retained some primitive features. Morganocodon, for example, had a more derived jaw, point, uh, jaw joint and middle ear structure than its cynodont relatives, indicating a transition towards true mammalian physiology. Ecological niches and adaptations Early mammals diversified into various ecological niches with adaptations that, that, that allowed them to exploit different food sources and habitats. Some became insectivorous while others may have been omnivorous or herbivorous. Their small size and nocturnal habits slightly helped them avoid predation by larger reptiles and early dinosaurs. And then the period, the Jurassic period, mammalian diversification. The Jurassic period from about 201 to 145 million years ago was a time of significant diversification for, for mammals. While dinosaurs dominated the terrestrial ecosystems, mammals began to explore new niches and develop more specialized adaptations. One of the most successful groups of early mammals during the Jurassic was the multituberculates. These small rodent-like mammals had complex multicusped teeth adapted for grinding plant material. Multituberculates thrived for over 100 million years from the Jurassic to the early Cenozoic, showcasing the adaptability and resilience of early mammals. The Jurassic period also saw the emergence of early marsupials and placentals, two of the major groups of modern mammals. These groups evolved different reproductive strategies, with marsupials giving birth to underdeveloped young that continue to develop in a pouch, while placentals developed their young internally for a longer period. Juramaya, a small shrew-like creature from the late Jurassic, is considered one of the earliest known placental mammals. Its fossils provide evidence of the early divergence between marsupials and placentals, highlighting the evolutionary pathways that would lead to the diverse array of mammals we see today. During the Jurassic, mammals continued to evolve various adaptations that would prove advantageous in their respective environments. These included improved sensory capabilities such as enhanced hearing and olfaction and the development of more complex brain structures. These adaptations allowed mammals to exploit new ecological niches and improve their chances of survival in a world dominated by large reptiles. The Cretaceous Period Mammals Amid Dinosaurs The Cretaceous Period from about 145 to 66 million years ago saw the continued evolution and diversification of mammals. During this time, mammals remained relatively small and inconspicuous compared to the dominant dinosaurs, but they continued to adapt and thrive in various ecological niches. Early eutherians, uh, eutherians, the group that includes modern placental mammals, began to diversify during the Cretaceous. Fossils of early eutherians such as uh, Eomaya provide insights into the early stages of placental mammal evolution. Yomaya exhibited features such as a more developed placenta and a longer gestation period, which are characteristic of modern placental mammals. Metatherians Metatherians, the group that includes modern marsupials, also diversified during the Cretaceous. Fossils of early metatherians such as Cynodelphus show adaptations for a marsupial mode of reproduction with underdeveloped young that continue to develop in a pouch of a birth mammalian diversity and adaptation. Despite their small size, mammals of the Cretaceous period exhibited a remarkable range of diversity and adaptations. Some mammals like Repanomammus were large enough to prey on small dinosaurs, demonstrating the potential for mammals to occupy various trophic levels. Other mammals such as the multituberculates continue to thrive as herbivorous with complex teeth adapted for processing plant material. This diversity in form and function set the stage for the rapid expansion and evolution of mammals following the end Cretaceous mass extinction. Then we come on to the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction. The end of the Cretaceous period was marked by the Cretaceous Paleogene KPG extinction event around 66 million years ago. This event likely caused by a combination of an asteroid impact and volcanic 
activity led to the extinction of the non-avian dinosaurs and many other species. The KPG extinction event opened up numerous ecological niches that mammals were quick to exploit. With the disappearance of the dominant dinosaurs, mammals experienced an evolutionary radiation, diversifying into a wide range of forms and functions. The Paleogene period, period mammalian is known explosion. for the uh, mammalian explosion, lasting from about 66 to 23 million years ago. It was a time of rapid mammalian evolution and diversification. Mammals expanded into new habitats and evolved new adaptations, leading to the emergence of many the Paleogene the period, groups of particularly the Paleocene epoch, saw the emergence of several new mammalian groups. Plesiaidae forms, often considered early primates, appeared during this time, showcasing adaptations for arboreal life such as grasping hands and feet. By the Eocene epoch, many of the modern orders of mammals had appeared. Perisodactyls or toad ungulates such as horses and rhinoceroses and artiodactyls, even toad ungulates such as deer and cattle began to diversify. Carnivorans, the, the, the group that includes modern carnivorous like dogs, cats and bears also started to evolve into their modern forms. Uh, the Eocene epoch was particularly significant for primate evolution. Early primates such as Adapiforms and uh, Omomiforms exhibited traits like larger brains and forward facing eyes, adaptations for improved vision and arboreal life. These early primates laid the groundwork for the later evolution of monkeys, apes and every humans. The Paleogene period also saw the evolution of marine mammals. Cetaceans, whales, dolphins and uh, porpoises evolved from terrestrial ancestors, adapting to life in the water with streamlined bodies, flippers and the ability to hold their breath for extended periods. Early Cetaceans such as Pachycetus and Ambulocetus provide insights into the remarkable transition from land to sea. Rodents and bats, two highly successful and diverse group of mammals, also began to diversify during the Paleogene. Rodents, characterized by their continually growing incisors, adapted to a wide range of ecological niches. Bats evolved the ability to fly and developed echolocation, allowing them to exploit no nocturnal niches and become efficient insectivores. Then we go on to Neogene period. The Neogene period from about 23 to 2.6 million years ago was a time of continued mammalian diversification and adaptation as well. During this period, the continents continue to drift towards their present positions, leading to changes in climate and the development of new habitats. One of the most significant ecological changes during the Neogene was the spread of grasslands. This shift had a profound impact on mammalian evolution, particularly for herbivores. Grazing mammals such as horses and antelopes evolved adaptations for eating grass, including high crown teeth and specialized digestive systems. The Neogene period was also crucial for the evolution of hominins, the group that includes modern humans. Early hominins such as Australopithecus exhibited bipedalism, allowing them to walk upright. This adaptation freed their hands for tool use and manipulation, setting the stage for the evolution of Homo habilis, Homo erectus and eventually Homo sapiens. Carnivorous mammals continue to diversify during the new gene with the evolution of large predators such as saber-toothed cats, uh, and uh, example Simrodon and hyenas. These predators adapted to the changing environments and the availability of large herbivores in expanding grasslands. Marine mammals also continued to diversify during the Neogene. Cetaceans evolved into a wide range of forms from the filter feeding baleen whales to the highly intelligent toothed whales such as dolphins and sperm whales. Pinnipeds, seals, sea lions and walruses also evolved adapting to life in the water while retaining the ability to move on land. And then we had the Quaternary period, well, Ice Ages and Modern Mammals. Uh, the Quaternary period uh, lasted from about 2.6 million years ago to the present and has been marked by dramatic climate changes including repeated glacial and interglacial cycles. 
driving adaptations to cold climates and leading to the development of modern mammalian diversity. The Ice Age megafauna, the Pleistocene epoch of the Quaternary period saw the rise of the Ice Age megafauna, large mammals adapted to cold environments. These included uh, mammoths, mastodons, woolly rhinoceroses and giant ground sloths. These large herbivores along with their predators such as saber-toothed cats and dire wolves Landscapes. Rome, and then the, the human ice age. evolution and impact. The quaternary period is also significant for the evolution and spread of modern humans. Homo sapiens emerged in Africa around 300,000 years ago and spread across the globe. The development of advanced tools, control of fire and complex social structures allowed humans to adapt to a wide range of environments. Human activity has had a profound impact on mammalian evolution leading to the domestication of animals, uh, habitat alteration and more recently the extinction of many species. The interplay between human evolution and mammalian diversity is a crucial aspect of the quaternary period. Today mammals are one of the most diverse groups of animals with over 6400 species adapted to a wide range of habitats. From the depths of the oceans of the highest mountain, modern mammals include the tiny Bumblebee bat, the largest mammal, the blue whale and the highly intelligent great apes including us, the humans. Mammalian adaptations include locomotion. Mammals have developed various modes of locomotion including running, flying, swimming and climbing. Sensory abilities, enhanced sensory abilities such as keen eyesight, acute hearing and sophisticated olfaction have enabled mammals to detect and respond to their environment effectively. Then we have reproductive strategies. Mammals exhibit diverse reproductive strategies from the uh, monotremes that lay eggs to the marsupials with their pouches and the placentals with extended gestation periods. Behavioral adaptations. Complex social behaviors, tool use and communication are hallmark traits of many mammal species, particularly primates. The diversity and adaptability of mammals have made them successful across the planet, but they also face significant challenges due to human activities, habitat destruction, climate change, pollution and overhunting have led to the decline and extinction of many mammal species. Conservation efforts are crucial to protect the remaining diversity and ensure the survival of mammals. The evolution of mammals is a testament to the power of adaptation and the resilience of life. From their origins among, among the synapsids in the late Carboniferous period to the diverse array of species we see today in our time, mammals have undergone remarkable transformations. Key evolutionary innovations such as differentiated teeth, endothermy and complex brain structures have allowed mammals to occupy a wide range of ecological niches and thrive in diverse environments. The journey of mammals is far from over. As they continue to adapt to changing environments and face new challenges, the story of mammalian evolution remains a dynamic and ongoing process. Understanding this evolutionary history not only provides insight into the past, but also helps inform conservation efforts and the future of mammalian biodiversity.